Today we are going to create this minimal square motion graphics animation in After Effects. So let's see how to make this. So here we are in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, duration 15. Click on OK. Now we are going to create our solids. Right click new. Let's add solid and let's make it little bit of white somewhere around here so first we will begin by creating our square so for that we can select the square tool now hold on the shift key click and drag to create a perfect square let's align it to the center using the align panel if you're not able to see it go to windows and from here you can enable it let's change its stroke and we don't want any so set this to none stroke we can set this to something like four so here we have this outline and we are going to animate it using the trim path so go to add let's add trim path now let's open this up we are going to animate it using this end property here it is 100 so this is completely full and we only want to cover one side so i'm going to set this to from 0 to 25 because this will give us only one side animation let's add a keyframe let's go somewhere around one and a half second or two seconds maybe let's set this to 25 only so that only this region is animated now let's create a circle that will follow this arc to create this line so let's select the ellipse tool now hold on the shift key and just create a circle and this one we can remove the stroke but we want fill and let's check the fill to this color click on ok now let's align this circle onto this layer so for that you can zoom in let's select this and press s to scale this down and i'm going to like scale it very small so that we can just align it perfectly so here we have this now we can increase its size and i'm going to set this to something around 80 let's zoom out to check it out so yeah, i think this looks good now let's animate it using the scale property and p4 position so let's add keyframes for that press u move these keyframes to the very beginning now at two seconds we want this to move down so I'm going to move around the Y position. Let's move it down below and also set the scale to zero. You can do this precisely and let's match it to this endpoint. So here we have this. And now if I go out and press play, you can see as this circle is moving, our line is drawing, which is exactly what we want. To make this more interesting, we can select the keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Now let's go to the graph and I'm going to like change the graph to look something like that. Let's press play. So I think this looks good. Perfect. Let's go out of this graph. Now we are going to like create all the other four lines of this square, but by simply duplicating this, let's select this press control D to duplicate these two layers. Now let's move them to the top and quickly change their color. Let's make them yellow. Now again, duplicate them by pressing control D. Let's move them to the top and again, change their color to whatever you want. And let's duplicate them once again and let's move them to the top. Now I'm going to create a null object so right click new null object and i'm going to like select all of these layers except these two because we want one line over here then just parent everything to this null object now select this null press r i'm going to rotate it by 90 degree so you can see that all the three lines will be rotated around here now we can select any of these two lines and just set the parenting to none now again we can rotate it by 90 degree which is 180 now at this point as well we can remove two layers and at last we can just set the rotation to 270 now if i press play you can see we have created this complete circle now we can select all of these and let's just move them a little bit ahead because we basically want some circles to like appear first and then we can have this animation going on so for that let's select a point and i'm going to select all of these alternative layers which are for the circles let's press u and in the beginning we want like no none of the layers visible so somewhere around here we can set it to something like that let's move it and after a couple of frames we can have these coming up now if i press play you can see we have all of these dots coming in now let's play around with that timing let's keep it to this point yeah, i think this looks good now we can select everything press u we are going to basically pre-compose these layers so let's just move them to the very beginning or maybe a little bit ahead now let's select everything right click and let's pre-compose and let's call this square 
just click on okay now we have this one animation but we are going to duplicate it and like make bunch of different copies but first let's animate it completely so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial basic files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so first i'm going to apply a gaussian blur effect because we want this really nice blurry fade away and after that we can animate it scale so let's just pick up points so somewhere around here add a keyframe let's go to this point and just scale this up completely like that now if i press play you can see we have the square animation select everything press f9 to easy is the keyframes nice now let's add a keyframe for blurriness let's select this press u and let's move a little bit ahead and i'm going to increase the blurriness quite a bit now let's add a keyframe for opacity as well so press t let's add a keyframe and let's set this to zero so you can see that here are all the keyframes and now if i press play you can see we have this animation and after that it fades away we can play around with the placement of these keyframes however you want now we can select this and we can start duplicating them a bunch of different times so let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to like move it a little bit ahead let's press r and rotate it by 45 degree you can probably press s leave the first keyframe and just make it smaller only like this and now it's completely up to you just randomly rotate them and just place the bunch of different copies like here and there don't forget to change their scale to give some nice variations Uh, let's duplicate it a bunch of different times so here i have created all of these copies and if i press play you can see all of these squares will come up and after that they will start animating now once you're done with this we are ready to add our text so select the text tool just type whatever you want i'm going to type motion graphics let's align them to the center and it's quite big so i'm going to quickly change their size let's add this to 100 and let's align it to the center as well now we are ready to animate this text so for that we can use a blurry preset if you just go to the effects and preset and search for blur you can see we have this blur and fade in animation now if i drag it over here select this press u and right away you can see we have this very nice blurring and text reveal now it is rotating which if you want you can like keep it but i don't want so i'm going to set the rotation to zero also let's increase the distance between these keyframes and just play around with its timing so somewhere let's place it over here yeah i think this looks good maybe a little bit faster nice i think this looks good so once you're done with this we are ready to enhance the scene by simply adding some shadows so for that we can select all of these layers right click let's pre-compose and call this one animation just click on ok let's select this press ctrl d and on this one we can apply a effect called so let's search for cc radial blur and let's drag it on to this bottom layer and we can play around with this and set the type to fading zoom and let's increase the amount to something like 50 and i'm going to change its center point so let's just click and just pick it over here we can place it like wherever from whatever direction you want the shadow to come from so we basically want our light source to somewhere in the top right corner so here you can see we have these very nice shadow but i think this is way too harsh so we can play around with some thing let's set this to 25 only and let's select this press t for opacity let's set this to 40 only i think yeah this looks good now if i press play you can see we have these very nice minimal animation with everything now there is one last thing that you can do to really enhance this out let's set this amount i'm going to set this to like 20 i think this looks good there is one more thing let's right click let's create a solid and i'm going to like make it completely black and on top of this we can apply lens flare so let's search for lens flare let's drag it over here and i'm going to change this to 105 prime mm let's change its position to something around here also let's select this and change its mode to add now you can see that it will create this very nice beautiful lens flare you can play around with its brightness however you want 
let's increase the brightness and i'm going to like place it to this point let's animate its flare center so let's add a keyframe press u in the beginning we want it to be over here so as our text is revealing we can like move it all the way across the screen to this point so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice animation with some really nice lighting and all perfect so it's completely up to you can play around with this you can like move them far away closer however you want and this is how you can create these kind of minimal square animation and the best thing is that if you want to change the text all you have to do is just go inside and just type whatever you want and just align the text and that's it you can see that we have the same animation with our change text like that so this is how you can create these kind of minimal animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one